So business-wise, um, think about railroad companies. Back in the day, if you ever moved anything from one side of the country to the other side of the country, if you moved anything from one city to another city, it moved along the railroad. They were huge in what business? They were huge in the transportation business. The reason, the why they existed was to move things from one place to another place. Their strategy, their how, was two iron or two metal rails. Does that make sense to you? And, and the what was locomotive. They got confused with the strategy. And when the airline industry came out and when there were airplanes that could now all of a sudden not just move two guys that were hanging on, you know, like the Wright brothers were doing, but could actually move huge things, the railroad companies were the ones with all the influence. The railroad companies were the ones that had the financial powerhouse that they could have taken over the airline industry and they could have owned it even today. But right now, no railroad company that was existing back in the 1800s and the 1900s, no railroad company from then is a competitor in the airline industry today. And you say, well, well, why? It's because they forgot that what they were doing was transportation and moving things, not the strategy of how they move things. And when new technology came across, they forgot the why and they were stuck on the how. Does that make sense to you? Um, another example is, how many of you, Codex a great example, I cannot articulate it very well. Um, I would send a microphone to you, but you would articulate it so well that you might go, on, I, I will send you a microphone anyway. And if you can articulate it, I will give you an oil of your choice off that. Okay, but I'm going to talk while the microphone's coming. So another example, if you guys are going to watch a movie, where do you guys get the movie today? Netflix or online, um, iTunes, something like that. How many of you go to Redbox? Some of you, um, a few. How many of you go to a big box retailer like, are you kidding me? You still go to like a blockbuster-ish type of thing. Okay, so, so one guy out of all of these. So uh, you own one, you own one. <laughs> You own one. You own a... No. Okay, I was going to say, like, I, I mean, I was about to bring the hammer down. And I, I, was, I was like, this is going to get really awkward really fast. If, if, if this. So, so what happened? Technology. I mean, technology came across. Why did Blockbuster exist? Why did some of these movie houses exist? They, they existed to provide entertainment that you could access on demand. And they got the implementation strategy confused. They got the how confused. They were providing entertainment. And when the how, when the strategy, when the delivery method changed, they didn't. And so because they weren't focused on their why, their driving value, they just got left behind. The same thing actually happened with a lot of the major television networks, right? If some of you want to watch TV, you don't necessarily watch TV on a news network or a major network, ABC, NBC, Fox, something like that. You just kind of watch it on demand, Netflix, Amazon Prime, some of these other things, because what the television industry forgot was that they were delivering things for in-house entertainment in the home, and they forgot, well, maybe that's the drive. Maybe the drive's not certain things at certain times on a certain agenda that you have to watch it when we want. You see how maybe the implementation of some things can change. And if you don't have the drive and the reason why you exist, you can just get left behind also. Do you want to try to do Kodak? I'll try and I don't know if I'll do it really all right, great. So but we're all going to give you a thumbs up. <laughs> or a thumbs down. Or a thumbs down depending on how well you're just building this up, aren't you? Hey, stand up so everybody can see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, I'm Chris Baslin. Uh, all right, known. so a thumbs. All right, a limit if it's a thumbs down. Yeah, and mister if it's a thumbs down. Uh, I don't have the mister because somebody took. All right, I've got no shoe trying. Oh, yeah, I got, okay, thumbs up. You, do you shave? Yeah, yeah, all right, so. No, I. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean that how it. <laughs> All right, oh, so I, I didn't mean it how it came across. All right, so if, if you get this idea, thumbs up is this, and if you don't, then uh, you, you got the cool. limit. All right, cool. so we're going. So, anyways, I, I think you've really made your point very well, so I don't want to 
prolong this, but I think Kodak's an excellent, excellent example just because they owned the film industry. Yeah. I mean, all cameras used, I shouldn't say all like 100%, but the majority of it used Kodak film. You're leaning into this right now. And they, and they did a great job at it. But when the digital camera came along, instead of jumping into the digital um, cameras like maybe Fuji and some of the other ones did, they lost track of what they were doing as far as, you know, making film. And what film. is it that they were doing? Making film, making, making yeah. pictures. Yeah, images. The, yeah, images, and where they could have jumped into, because uh, like you said, they had the resources. They knew the film industry. They knew pictures. They knew all of that. They could have come up with their own digital camera and been and owned the industry, and, yep. they, and they totally lost it and left it. Now Man, Kodak is, you know, I mean, my kids don't know what Kodak is. So. Yeah, I think you got the cup. You know. Yeah, so, 